And take a look at this. This is a new image tonight from inside the Rancho Cordova home that was plowed into by a suspected drunk driver. A woman was killed. Two other family members were hurt. They were all together last night watching the 49ers game. And this was one of several deadly DUI crashes in Sacramento County in just the past week. But what makes this case different in Rancho Cordova is the victims never even left their home. When I pulled up, there were just a lot of people. There were, I don't know how many fire trucks were here. Diana Burdick will never forget it. A suspected drunk driver slammed into her neighbor's home. An elderly woman was killed and two of her family members were pinned underneath the car. They're now in the hospital. You see about these things and you hear about them in the paper or watch it on television, but when it is someone you know, and it is right here, yeah, it just it just goes to your heart, you know, that, that this has happened and didn't need to happen. The verdicts tell me the victims were a husband and wife. They say the husband's mother lost her life in the horrific incident. It was just the three of them sitting in the living room. I think they were watching the football game. Suddenly their lives were drastically altered. I want to show you a makeshift memorial is growing here outside the home where this tragedy happened. People leaving candles and flowers here at the scene and neighbors tell me their real concern is that this same tragedy might happen again. I suspect if I were to walk around right now to these neighbors and ask them to sign a petition for a, um, a light there, I wouldn't have anybody saying no. Believe it or not, the verdicts say a car ran into the same home off Coloma Road more than a decade ago. I can't tell you how many times we've all gathered in the front to see what happened now. You know, it's not gunshots. We don't, we don't have, that, that's not the problem here. The problem here is traffic. Take a look. The suspect, Gary Circle, is facing a vehicular manslaughter charge for driving under the influence and child endangerment. Yes, turns out two children were inside the car when it slammed into the home. His bail is set at $1 million. But really what needs to be done here to make um, everyone feel safe and feel more secure is that they need to have a stoplight there. And we did some research tonight, and there is an increasing number of DUI cases across the state. Listen to this. There were more than 260,000 DUI arrests in 2018 in California. That is up about 1,000 cases from the year before.